rising, green rising, green rising. <laughs> you having a whole song in my head. Green rising, green rising. Hola. Peace, beloveds. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, beloved. <laughs> hmm. Not really sure what I want to pull from today. Let's pull from here. Green rising. Vacation week, yes. Chad, why you up so early? You supposed to be sleep. Supposed to be, look, you supposed to be sleep. You on vacation? All right. <clears throat> Let us set the tone. And give gratitude for today. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Yes, it's your birthday week. Child, all of us need a vacation. I need me a vacation too. I need me a little, a little vacation, just a little one, just a little one. Vacation from all the BS. <laughs> all the BS. Ooh, yes, money, yes. Yes, money. Okay, Miss Wick, you better get it. Yes, promotion. Congratulations, beloved. I'm proud of y'all. Mmm. I'm getting that a lot. We've been getting this card right here a lot. Um. Y'all, mm. I'm about to see how this going to go, but yes, peace, 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 relax. Uh -uh. Interesting. All right, universe, come on through. I sure. Oh, this message is gonna be interesting. <laughs> but we're gonna go through it. We're gonna go ahead and get in it. All right, y'all. So the first card that came up was the fortune card. And we love the fortune card because why it tells us that when we are operating in our own balance, when we are bringing in the divine feminine and the divine masculine, listen, this is when we are in balance and everything that we desire comes from the universe. We've been getting this message a lot lately. That when we are operating in the right frequency, guess what? The universe is going to come and gift you what it is that you deserve. To specifically say that fortune, fortune, 
It's coming. Abundance is headed your way. So everybody needs to open their hands, their hearts, their mind to receive this abundance. Y'all better receive it. You better receive this blessing that the universe is trying to give you. <laughs> but I feel like me looking at the cards, there's some things that need. Some of us still got work to do. Some of us still got work to do. We still got some things that we need to heal, that we need to release. And this is the perfect time to do it. I love the fact that this card is coming up right now while we're still in this full moon energy. You still got a couple of days to work with this full moon. This full moon is going to gift you. This full moon is going to bless your soul. It's going to bless your soul, y'all. It's going to bless your soul. So go ahead and release the energy. Why? Why am I saying that? She's like, look. T, Tam, Keela, whatever you call me. <laughs> what are you saying? Look, when I say we got work, some of us need to make some dietary changes. This is the transformation. Some of us got to stop eating all this dead stuff. That's not, it's holding our weight down. It's holding our energy down. It is grounding us more than we need to be grounded. And I tell people all the time, in order for you to elevate, in order for your spirit to ascend and be free and move around like frequently. I don't know why my phone is on. It's stupid today. Hold on. Mm, that's so special. Anyway, in order for it to move free flowingly, we got to make some changes. We need to eat the foods that are going to help us be high vibrational. Mm, I feel it. High vibrational. I know it's twitching. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, in order for us to, to get into um, a certain flow, and I want to speak on this just for two seconds. I ain't going to go on a, a real tangent. But the thing that I, I pay attention to, all right, some messages came to a lot of healers over the last year, and astrologers even, that we've been paying attention to the signs of the universe. We've been paying attention to the signs of things that's going on, all right? It is going to be a necessity. Listen to me when I tell y'all, because y'all know I don't get on the gloom and doom. It is a necessity for you to change your eating habits. There's a lot that's going on, specifically right now, that is going to intensify when it comes to what you're eating, and what you're putting in your body. I have spoke on it a couple of times. I normally tap on the surface because I don't want to get too deep into that. Y'all know I don't like getting into the gloom and doom. But I need for y'all to understand how important it is for you to change how you eating. Stop thinking that they want you to operate in your highest self. Only thing that wants you to operate in your higher self is the universe. But there are systems that are set up that don't want you to operate in your higher self. Especially because the veil is being lifted. Especially because the rain is being like put to an end. There is an ending of an era. There's an ending of a cycle. And that cycle being ended means that they are scrambling to shift the paradigm. They are scrambling to shift certain dynamics and don't realize that it's inevitable for them to fail all right that's the best way i can put it without getting shut down y'all know they love to shut me down so eat better beloveds it's better for your body pay attention to how you're eating if you can grow it grow it if you can get some some um towers get you a couple of towers Get you a couple of garden towers that you can, like, grow your own stuff, okay? Just be very mindful what you're putting in your system, what you're putting in your body. There's a lot of toxins that are being polluted in our food, all right? And it's not normal. It's not, oh, my grandparents used to eat everything. Your grandparents was raising their own stuff, too. They were growing their own vegetables. So they had Cousin Larry over there growing his own, or, you know, Uncle Ray Ray was over there doing his own thing. So they was able to go get it from him. 
Don't get yourself. If you are going to eat a certain way, make sure you're taking your chlorella. Make sure that you're taking things that are going to bind those toxins up and expel them out of your body. Get your burdock roots. Get your bladder rack. Get all of that sarsaparilla. Get all of the stuff that's going to cleanse this system, okay? Go ahead, actually, Kiki. If you don't mind, put your question in the question box, and then I'll read it out loud. That way we don't get distracted, all right? Put your question in the question box. It's right beside the comments, all right? So grief is the other card that's coming up. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, all right? Losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. I always tell people... Um, Don't burn no real money. I don't even believe in y'all burning ancestor money, actually, Kiki. I don't even believe in y'all burning no ancestor money. So don't don't burn no real money. Mm -mm. That's not what you want to do. If you want to manifest money, you have to operate in the energy that money operate on. You have to operate in the energy that that whole thing operates on what it is that you're striving to bring actually think about it. i'm gonna take a pause that's why i want you to put it in the box <laughs> but it's okay um when you are striving to manifest things from this three dimensional dynamic three dimensional you want something off of this physical plane you have to operate in the frequency that's going to bring it in on this physical plane so that means you have to Raise that vibration. If you like, um, beloved said, you can do money rituals so you can focus your intention on what it is that you want to bring. But when you focus your intention on, I want to bring your money, then you want to focus your attention on, um, on it and then let it go. Let the universe do what it's supposed to do. I personally don't do money rituals. I personally don't get into a whole lot of things where I'm just specifically asking for money. I don't do that. I ain't never did that. I will burn an abundance candle so I can bring in abundance in all areas of my life because I don't want money and I ain't got no clarity. I don't want money and I'm not grounded because then I'm still going to make the stupid and dumb decisions that I was making before when I had the money and now I ain't got none. So I ask for abundance and that abundance is from a mental, emotional physical, financial, all the dynamics that I feel I want to be abundant in. Because if you're not feeling good, you ain't going to do what you're supposed to do with your money. You're going to be wanting to do comfort things. So you have to operate on the frequency that that money is going to come in on. Even connected to what it is that you actually really are asking for. So let's say you want the money for um, pay your mortgage. Okay. So let's say you're saying, I need money to um, pay my mortgage. You need to be doing more of, and this is in my opinion, more of a ritual that is based off of, I want to create stability. I want to create opportunities that are going to provide circumstances that will provide for this house. I want to create, you want to resonate with the energy of stability. So this ain't about money. And then just what we just learned at the retreat, if your money off, your love off, all your, your, your basic needs that's on this three dimensional. Okay. On this three dimensional space, all your basic needs, security, that's what? Your root chakra. So you need to balance out your root chakra. You need to do some work on your root chakra. You need to go and talk to your womb and, and your root chakra and your inner child and do all of that work. So it can help you get into a space where you're creating consistency and stability. All right? A lot of times we'd be like, oh, we want money. Why you want the money? And money ain't the end all be all. You really want resources. You want abundance. 
You don't want, it's not the physical presence of money that's going to fix the problem. That's just my, my side note. <laughs> that's just my little side note on, on that. That's why I like people always ask me, I don't burn candles. I don't do candles for money. I don't do candles for like the love of someone. I don't do none of them type of, mm -mm. I'll do it for other people if they ask me to do it. But my personal opinion and belief when it comes to my own life, when it comes to what I want to manifest in this dynamic, it's always going to be spiritual clarity. It's always going to be the abundance of all dynamics. I feel like if I ask for abundance in all aspects of my life, then I'm covered. The universe is going to give me exactly what it is that I need. The, the universe is going to make sure I have exactly what I need. And I walk with that energy whether I burn a candle for it or not. I know that the universe is always going to provide for me even when I'm not thinking about it. They're going to be like, oh, we're going to give you a little extra of this. We just thought that you needed that. <laughs> so I don't worry about it. So that's what you need to focus on, beloved. So, okay, see, that's why I be wanting y'all to give me the whole thing. You want it to be, you want stability. So because you want stability and opportunities, you want abundance to come from a different dynamic. So you need to burn that. You need an abundance candle. You need a, a candle for... Um, even for your, your business. I always do something that is specifically for my business. Okay. So there's a couple of things that you could really do. If you inbox me, I can kind of navigate you through a couple of things that you should be doing for that. All right. Exactly. Open opportunities, open road. But you can't have that open road if you don't have the other dynamics um, together. I am doing um, readings um, to healing. Let me go ahead and finish this so we don't get off track, y'all. Okay, so going back to the grief card, it says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So when um, a lot of times I always tell people instead of using the word depressed or depression, that means you're grieving. What are you grieving for? You have to identify what is the grief process. What are you grieving? What are you? What is the grief coming from. And a lot of times it's because we have some sort of connection to something that we lost. We feel like we lost something, whether it's ourselves, whether it's another person, whether it's a job, whether it's a loved one, a dynamic, a situation, a material item. But you have to understand that it has to be moved. So you have to release the attachment to whatever that dynamic was. Whatever that dynamic was, you have to release the attachment to it and say, I know that the universe is making room for something new. The universe is making room for me to gain this. So if the universe is making room for you to have this and acquire this, which is fortune, abundance. You got to do the things that's going to put you on the frequency of what that is. Why? Why? This, that means we got to eat right. We got to feed our body right. We got to do all the things that is going to put you on the frequency of this. All right. You're going to release anything you're grieving. Anything that you holding on to. Anything that you are, you know, over here crying about you crying for what now if you crying to release and heal cool but if you crying over and whining and complaining about i don't lost this or my man gone or all man listen the universe moving stuff out your way because the next thing that comes along you're going to appreciate it way more that next relationship that comes along, you're going to appreciate that mate way more. The next car that come along, you're going to appreciate and be thankful and show gratitude for it. Okay? Now, 
when we are in the space, my shaman card, y'all know this is my personal cards. It says smudge. That means you need to set the tone for your environment. In order for us to usher this fortune in, we need to set the tone for the environment. So what do we need to do? We need to smudge and protect our space. That means we need to walk through our, our house, surround your own personal house or your, your apartment. Open the windows, please. Open the windows and the door. <laughs> but you need to open your space so you can cleanse it, so you can set the tone for it, so you can remove and neutralize the energy that's already in there. But not only that, come back through and if you are you know bringing and specifically we bringing in abundance all right we gonna specifically be burning cinnamon or fragrances that bring in abundance for me y'all know it's cinnamon i'm always gonna do cinnamon or blue sage you can burn blue sage all the way back through the house so you might want to start out with your white sage or your black dragon's blood and then go back through with your blue sage or some cinnamon all right that's what you need to be doing. Smudging and setting the tone. We cannot receive this in stagnant or um, energy that is not conducive to this frequency. How are you going to bring more of this in? How are you going to bring this particular dynamic in? You ain't even got the frequency or the environment that is conducive for it. That's the same thing with your body. How are you expecting good things to come to this physical vessel on this physical realm, but you don't want to do the things that is going to set the tone for that? So instead of making these dietary changes, <laughs> eating in the, the dynamic that is going to bring abundance, that's going to bring life, you want to just go ahead and put crap in your body. You want to eat crap that is not going to give you the frequency that you need to be on. It's not going to help you raise your vibration to get this balance, all right? Stability, fortune, abundance, smudge. So let's read the back of this. It says sacred herbs such as sage, cedar, palo santo emit a cleansing smoke when burned and can be used to clear out negative energy. Clear your home by wafting, wafting the smoke around from plant around. Y'all know smudging, okay? Notice the difference in your surroundings after you have smudged. I now cleanse my home regularly. This is saying, this is a time frame where y'all need to be doing this on a regular basis, all right? Should be smudging. It's time to smudge. Cleanse the air. Okay, so... The next card and our final card is the crystal card. And it says, so it shall be. I say, so it shall be. So let's read a little portion of this. I might post this today. We stay in these threes, I swear. All right, y'all. Ooh, that's a big paragraph. All right. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times when you will go through life without any sign of what is going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know, knowing if you are going to ever be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you shall really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out. And yet, giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Mm, I just posted about procrastination on my page there. Hold on, okay, I'm sorry. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it with all that you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree or absolute confirmation of success and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. 
Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitable. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to the divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. Listen, beloved. If the spirit, I about did a whole praise dance. I got chills all over my body right now. Listen. 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 This is what this whole reading about. Actually, Kiki, this reading probably was for you in particular. This is what the whole reading about. That's what the whole reading about. In order for you to get exactly what you want, exactly what the universe is trying to give you, to give you balance, to give you abundance, you got to do some work. I said this from the beginning. I said, some of us, our ship coming in. It seemed the universe like, yo, you've been doing the work. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I love you. Look. But it's like, I need you to change up some things. Some of it is, it's going to be food. Some of us is like, okay, you, you slacking on your food. You slapping. Like, nah, you can't eat like that. You asking for me to bless you. You asking for abundance from a long-term perspective. But the way you eat and you ain't getting ready to be here long-term. <laughs> The way you eating, your, your money going to be wasted on trying to get your health together. Okay? Thank you, beloved. So, uh-uh. Make the changes. Eat right. Do the things that are going to put you on the frequency of what it is that you're asking for. You're asking for abundance. Put your... Do this right. All right? <laughs> Grief. Let it go. You holding on to stuff that happened in the past. You holding on to stuff that ain't even benefiting you no more. It ain't even on the same frequency once again as you. So let it go. Quit whining and complaining. Know that the universe got something better for you. You say you about to lose your job, Kiki. You ain't even supposed to be there. The universe like, yo, you done, that, yo, your time has expired here. It's time for you to walk into the things that are setting this up. Okay? It is time for the things that is setting that up. It's saying, hey, you need to set the tone. That means it's the end of a new era. It's the end of an era. And because it's the end of an era, then we got to set the tone. That means we need to go through and cleanse the energy in our house. Cleanse the energy in our space. Shit, you might need to cleanse the energy in your car. Anywhere that you are thinking and carrying negative energy or negative thought process, you need to sage it. <laughs> Protect the, the space. Okay? Protect the space. And now, the universe saying, you might be feeling doubt. You don't understand how the things are going to come in and, and help you. So shall it be. Yo, we giving you the divine order to say, yeah, the universe sitting there giving y'all the divine order saying, don't worry about it. We got you. What you want to do, we got you. So shall it be. Ashe. They giving you Ashe. So if they telling you Ashe, look, they saying Ashe is done. Don't worry about it. Don't second guess it. Don't doubt it. Walk in it. That's what we were talking about yesterday. Really, are you walking the walk? We walking around saying that we, we are connected to spirit. We connected to God. We connected to our higher selves, but we sitting here worried. For what? How you connected to your higher self and you walking in doubt? I done told y'all that don't exist at the same. It can't exist at the same time. You can't have faith. You can't be God. You can't be your higher self and have fear and doubt. They can't exist at the same time. That means that you don't believe. You don't believe who you say you are.
okay? As above, so below, beloved. Everything that you think will manifest in the physical form. So you got to make sure that you're keeping up here in positivity, keeping this vibration high. If you got people around you that's saying negative stuff and that's constantly putting a certain energy on you, make sure you cleanse yourself of that energy. Don't hold that. That shit ain't yours. Get that bag. Here you go. I don't want that. Sometimes you can't tell them you're giving it back. You're like, oh, okay, go throw that shit right in the trash. Don't you hold on to that. Don't hold on to that. It ain't yours. It ain't yours. All right. All right. So that's the message. Hopefully we can get these um, thing. Okay. I had a question from Mahogany. She says, um, what else can we use besides um, to smudge with? I personally don't think that you should do smudge sprays. Um, sprays are there to uplift the, 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 the frequency. They, they can um, change the frequency in the room, okay? So I personally don't use smudge sprays unless it's like I got like my Florida water spray, I got an aura spray, I got like um, a shocker spray that I keep in my bag. And that's just to like, you know, remind me of what I'm supposed to be doing, signal to me that I need to be in a certain energy. But when it comes to smudging this area and this dynamic, I do real smudges. I do. I don't believe in doing the shortcut. I'm very ancient. I believe in ancient stuff. This new age spray shit ain't really ancient. That's my personal opinion. When it comes to like my ritual work and what I want to do is setting the tone, I'm going to do exactly what my ancestors did. That's just me. All right. Um, healing sense. You ready, boo? Let me get your reading in. Let me get your reading in. Let me get your reading in. What time is it, y'all? Okay. I'm still good, I think. I think I'm still good. We are walking ancestors. Yes, we are the ancients. All right, healing sense. All right. Still a transformation card, soul journey card, and a moon card. Ah, oh, you miss us. Where you been, boo? Lovely. Um, put your name in the box, beloved. It, put your name in the question mark box beside the com Ooh, comments. Beside the comments. Hill. I said, boy, I said, he ain't taking the time to read. He done named you. He done gave you a new name. That's probably the name you're supposed to use on your books. Everything is intentional, beloved. He's probably supposed to be using the name K Hill, K dot Hill. I would look into that. Do a reading on a book. Sit with it. All right. Healing sense. Here we go. All right. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And it probably was a time frame um, that you were more connected to your social butterfly self, that you were living a certain life. You was living, 
You was out here making sure that you was networking and doing certain things, having fun, being in your best life. And that was a past moment, but you need to resurface that, that networking aspect of you, that butterfly that's within you, that person that is going to be walking in their power. This eye of fire is like a woman that is not afraid to walk in her power, that she walk in the room and people turn around like, damn, who that? Not just because of the physical look, but the daggone energy that you come in. You come in and transform the room. When you walk in the room, people are like, ah, dang. You command presence. You command attention. Okay? So you have to bring that back in to this dynamic. You might be feeling like it's a lot going on and it's a lot of energy and a lot of um, emotions that are evolving and popping up. Okay, and it might feel like it is overwhelming in a sense. Don't worry about it. Know that you are in control. Know that the universe and more importantly is in control that you can trust the universe to do and take you exactly where they need to take you. They're going to align you exactly with what it is that they want to align you with. And it might require you to take that journey by yourself because you're getting the, her the hermit card and it's saying, hey, you might have to cut off some people. Because you don't need no extra influences. You don't need no extra voices telling you that you can't do what you're about to do. The, I feel like everything, and I know, yes, I know that everything for the, your reading in particular is preparing you for your ascension. It is preparing you for your level up. And in order for you to really appreciate and understand and commit to this level up, okay, you are going to have to do a couple of things, all right? So, let's start with your transformation. It says new exercise program is needed. So, doing some things that is going to put you in a regimen. This is something I always tell people. If y'all pay attention to the patterns of successful people, there are certain key things that they do. They eat a certain way to get there. They work out. They do some type of transformation work. They keep something consistent. They create a routine in particular, a routine that they can stick on that is giving their body and themselves self-love. They're making sure that their body and their physical presence is, is strong so they can stay focused on what the destination is. So incorporate something that is going to give you balance, whether that is working out, whether that is yoga, whether that is sacred movement like Tai Chi, Incorporate this. Okay. Self-esteem card is coming up. It says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Listen, we talked about this last night. This card came up last night. This is about you saying, I have a unique gift. I have a unique voice. I have a unique footprint in the world. And because I am unique, it's only me who can offer my specific gift to the world. So you have to trust and know that. You have to know that the universe wants you to walk in your power. You came back this time to offer your specific gift. To fulfill your specific mission. So do it. Don't doubt it. Don't second guess it. Walk in it. Understand that your power is so appreciated. That treasure chest of gifts that you ain't cracked open. You just get into the tip of it. You just crack the case open. You ain't even reached in and figured out that you got so much more to offer us. Your moon card is adjustment is required. So we're going to read. I think we're going to read it. Oh, there it is. Adjustment is required. Which one is the third for me? <clears throat> Think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there is also a lot of negative negativity and you have to let it go. Whatever the situation you're asking about, Dale, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with promise 
that it all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you will get where you want to be. A change, of course, is a forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may also be a crisis now, which will remind you what you want and what it's time to let go of. So pay attention. I am reevaluating all situations. That's what the, the basically the affirmation. I'm reevaluating all situations. That means people up for review. <laughs> it's some time right now where you need to be like, look, your contract is under review. Your contract under review. That might be your job. That might be people that's around you. That might be in any energy that is creating a toxic environment for you. Your contract under review. I'll let you know if it's approved. I'll let you know if your contract is, is going through. You might have to be terminated. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so make the necessary changes, beloved. Make sure that you're operating in your own self-love in particular. Operating your own self-love first. Your own self-love first. All, with, all is well. All is going to bring you exactly what you need, beloved. I say. I say. Um. Mm -mm. I'm trying to see who was the longest one. Okay, Chaz. Let's go to Chaz. You're welcome. Yeah, you need to reevaluate that contract with the one that's draining you. If it's draining, you need to reevaluate it. You're like, mm -mm, you taking up too much of my time and my energy, and you got my, you got my frequency off. Y'all you want your frequency off? Tell them to take that shit back. <laughs> take that back. We don't want that. Take it back. I don't know if I want to do all these other cards. We got so much. Let me see. Okay. Everybody. Okay, boo. So the first card that came out was the love card. And the love card is two dynamics. Either you got a look, I'm about to be like you Khalil on you. Either you got a new boo. We've been talking about this new boo. New boo thing. We've been talking about this love energy. Or it could be an old boo. It ain't a new boo. It's an old boo. It's in the past position. So somebody that has either connected to you from the past, all right, past relationship, past dynamic, it's here, all right? But you want to make sure that you are operating on the right love vibration and the right love frequency yourself that you have for yourself in order to make sure that that person knows how to love you the right way. That that person is reciprocating the right amount of energy. All right? That they are reciprocating the right amount of energy back to you. So the love that you're putting out, you want to make sure that same amount of love is coming back to you. Um, when they 
yeah, this is going to be a past situation that's about to pop up for you, boo. But if they are not, the universe is like, yo, let go. It also is saying maybe you need to let go of any fears that you might have. Fears? Yep. Okay. This can already create some confusion. Whoever this person is, he about to he about to make yeah, he gonna create some confusion, some chaos, some some things where you just be like, What? Like, why you ain't say this before I decided to move? That's the type of energy. Somebody feeling like they wanna, you know, confess their undying love type. Pop up out the blue type. Listen. Okay, but like I said, it might be either you need to let go of fears, let go of the past, let go of what maybe happened and transpired that made y'all not connect, that made you not do what you want to do to move forward. Okay, because then this card comes up and this card is always about like Tunde Water. This is about... Um, I'm aligning what I know that you need for you and your family. I'm bringing proposals. I'm bringing exactly what you want. I'm telling you, like, boom, I can come and and, and present to you what it is that you want. But you got to be open and receptive to what it is that I'm offering. You got to be open and receptive to the proposal. To the proposal. Okay? Because this, this car right here, him... This is like, oh, I'm going to offer something that before you even have to say it. So whoever this is, like this wasn't like Khalil's reading. Whoever this person is for you, they coming from your past. They saying let go of anything that's stopping your ascension. And they getting ready to come. They coming for you. They coming for you. They getting ready to, to pop up, pop up out the box. Which is creating indecision for you, okay? It's creating, I use my intuition on all aspects of life. So this indecision, you got to trust your good. I'm not saying that this is the person because I didn't get the soulmate card. But I am saying pay attention. And you need to trust your intuitive self. Trust your heart. What is your heart saying? What are you intuitively picking up on the situation? Okay? It might just be friendship. I feel like, I promise, I feel like it's going to be either a friend that's going to pop out and be like, you know, I always have loved you. I've always loved you. It's going to be somebody that's getting ready to pop out. Because friendship, it says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Oh. Spirit is like, look. You're going to have realizations and epiphanies. Things will be revealed. Things are going to come to the forefront. Things are going to start to make sense when they make they when they come for you. The way that I see this coming for you. You're going to be like, ah, oh, that's what happened. That's why they did that. That's why they was acting like that. That's why we was probably having that funky energy. Because you sitting there talking to your friend. Talking to your friend. About something. Talking to your friend about something. And that friend might have been the friend that was crushing on you the whole time. <sighs> so you got some decisions to make. You need to like really go inward. When this thing pop up out the box, you need to go inward. Okay? Now. You got abundance card at the bottom of the deck, beloved. You got abundance. And that abundance card is saying, hey, everything is on the up. The stability is coming in. This frequency is coming in. There's something that is coming in to change your whole dynamic. All right. And this is like, it says, expect powerful changes. That's your moon card. So expecting the powerful change, knowing that there is a shift of energy that is coming. Your whole life is about to shift like, like just as dramatic as a, a new moon eclipse. 
Yeah, and we already know what that is. That's your whole move. Your whole life about to shift in the blink of an eye. Whole life. Whole life. Be excited about it. Be excited about it. I just want to know who this friend is that's crushing on you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who crushing on you? Who getting ready to pop? Somebody coming out the box. I can't wait to hear about it. Somebody going to be like, uh, so when is it time for you to leave? It might look, look, you might get to New York and then that's when you on the phone and somebody be like, you know, I love you. <laughs> I don't know if everybody do. I get those type of calls. You know, I always love you. Did you? When? <laughs> Cause the way you acting, I don't think that was love. What, what kind of love was that? I'm just saying. Who is this? Who is this? All right. Who is this? All right. <laughs> Who this hypo? <laughs> All right. Who is my other reader? Let me see if I can squeeze one more of y'all in. Um, who was the longest? Lovely. Lovely C. Are you still on here, boo? Lovely C. Lovely C. Who this hypo? A lot of times the people that really are are wanting something more with us be right in front of our face. A lot of times the people that really wants something more. Y'all might be taking them. Y'all might be taking them for a joke. You might be taking them. Um, I don't want to say for a joke. You might not be taking them as serious. They could be that friend that's always being there. That's checking on you. It's a lot of times that person. That really wants to take things further. They be right in front of our face. And because you have created this fixated ideal of who he is or who she is, we miss it every time. We miss it every time. We be sitting there like looking for someone totally different and that person be right in front of our face. Right in front of our face. Peace, beloved. Huh. I don't know why we're getting all these health cards. Let me find out y'all not taking care of yourself. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Make sure y'all are taking care of yourself. Getting a lot of uh, health cards today. All right, beloved. So, lovely C. You got some energy that came in to try to sweep you off of feet. It might be, because Tunde Fire is all about just, you see how... He just unpredictable. So it could be a situation or a person that to try to come in and create chaos and confusion. All right. Person or. Okay. A person or situation that try to come in and knock you off your feet and try to throw you off course. All right. Trust the process, beloved. There's a, a reason that this situation has a, a, um, arisen. <laughs> like, there's a reason that this situation has tried to throw you off course. And it's to get you centered. It's to get you focused. It's for you to dig into your spiritual self. All right. It's to 
time frame for you to say, let me sit with myself and trust this process. Know that I am ever evolving. Know that there is something that is um, creating the pressure and is striving to push me to my greatness. So I have to be still. If you can look at the butterfly, she's being still while the cocoon is taking this process, while it's doing this thing. Peace, beloved. Okay? So trust the process. Go center, go center yourself. Definitely connect to your spiritual dynamic. The things that are helping you increase your spiritual awareness and knowing that the universe got you covered. All right. Process the emotions that are happening. Because there's a lot of emotions. This is showing like this cup. The Ace of Cups is all about emotions. All right. An overflow of emotions. And you being the person that's still trying to give a whole lot. Even though you ain't got nothing left to give. Stop giving so much of yourself. This is a time, beloved, that you only supposed to give to yourself. Fill your own cup. Fill your own cup. Fill your own cup. Take this moment for, for you. All right? Take this moment to love on you. To heal you. To do the things that you need to do for you. All right? The health card comes up. And it says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. All right. Let's read that one. Your body is your temple and you are responsible for its care. You have chosen to incarnate in this physical dimension to learn certain lessons. And if you don't maintain the physical vessel that your soul has chosen, then you are sabotaging your own plan. Your health is a vital element for your soul's progress, and you should never take it for granted. Be sensible about the nourishment and the exercise. You could be in a sensitive, wait a minute, you could be a sensitive being who must be conscious of your surrounding because you can easily be drained by people, places, or things. Always make a ritual of protection and cleansing before you work with a client or just being bringing your mind back to your heart throughout the day to rejuvenate. So centering yourself. Doing things that are always going to bring you back to your center. This card may also signify a desire to assist other beings through physical or emotional healing work. You may be involved professionally in medical fields, body work, or psychiatry or counseling. Or maybe you're just a good listener who possess sage advice. If you are someone or inherited a disease, past life work may be of some benefit. Listen. Make sure that you're taking the time to release. I said this before we even got to this card. Take the time to heal that wound. Heal your body. Do some, you know, work on your, your past life, but also anything that happened while you were a child. I just talked about um, the other day, childhood trauma um, being in, embedded in our DNA. It creates diseases. If you are not releasing that, it's going to create a disease in your body. It is. All right. Take the time to believe, ugh, breathe. Take the time to breathe is your moon card. Take the time out to just sit still. It don't necessarily mean that you got to go on meditation. It don't necessarily mean that you got to do anything different. This is all your cards are saying. This is a time to take time to do stuff for yourself. This is the time to take time to do stuff for yourself. You got to. But overall, taking the time to love on yourself, queen. That's what I need for you to do. It's starting to count me down, y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. I will that you have an amazing day. Do what it is that make you happy. Quit letting people take your joy. All right? Peace, beloveds.